Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Very unexciting topic today. Depression, indications of depression using astrology. It's a very difficult topic because there are many reasons why we might get depressed. And it's virtually or practically or physically, mentally, socially, financially, it's impossible to identify why a person may be depressed. We could get some hints using astrology. But then let's define something very clearly what depression is. Depression is uh, one of the definitions of depression. Uh, it is a lack of motivation in life. That's all. That's it. <laughs> lack of motivation in life. You are not motivated for your career or for your for maintaining your health or maintaining relationships. You're, you're unhappy basically. You're uh, desires are not fulfilled either externally or internally. Uh, you, you're not happy even if they're fulfilled or they're not fulfilled the way you expected them to be. Or they were fulfilled uh, and you got what you expected but it didn't satisfy you at the end. Right? So there, there can be thousands of conditions and uh, preconditions, post-conditions why somebody may be depressed. Okay? Uh, and what's the best remedy for depression? Well, I have talked to many of my Shiksha Gurus and uh, many senior sadhus, astrologers also. And um, yes, I will share some of the insights today. Right? And I have a video on moon remedies because depression is primarily linked to the moon. So I'll put that video uh, in the top uh, later. Uh, at the end, you can watch it if you have not watched it. And uh, that video will really help you. But we shall discuss some points here also, right? And uh, I would also like to know uh, which of these placements that I have seen in my experience because there is no defined sutra in the... Uh, I mean, literally like, oh, this placement causes depression. You know? There's nothing like this. <laughs> yeah, there are indications of weakness of heart and sadness and pessimistic behavior and all this, all right? So we shall discuss some of them today. And let me know if you have some of these placements and uh, how did you feel during the dashas of these planets, okay? And before we discuss, this is very important to understand when this can happen. So for example, if you find that a particular planet is indicating all these things, so you don't have to uh, go into this fear that uh, all my life it will be like this, okay? That could happen if it is indicated in most of your planets, but primarily in the dashas, okay, mahadashas and antar dashas. So the most important thing for you here at this point is to, because if you're watching this video, I expect you will be around uh, 20s, 30s, 40s, or maybe later. So at, at the least you are in 20s. So if you are in 20s, bare minimum or even later, then at least one or two or three mahadashas you might have passed, okay, at least uh, one or two at, at the least. <laughs> So you might be in your second or third Mahadasha if you are in 20s or 30s. So then what you do is you go back to your Dashas, your first Mahadasha, your second Mahadasha, your third Mahadasha like this and you check the Antar Dashas. Okay? Because if a planet indicates some scenario like depression, then uh, it's very probable in that Antar Dasha you might uh, get that feeling. Okay? Now, which area that may be, that may differ based on the Mahadasha, but in general, you might get this feeling, all right? And as usual, if you're new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me, then please go to my website down below. And yes, uh, even if you're depressed or you tend to get depressed, always remember that uh, God is there with you all the time. Uh, Krishna says in the Gita, Ishwara Sarva Bhutana Mridheshe Arjuna Tishthati. So don't worry, uh, take the necessary steps and you may not be able to get rid of depression, but you can definitely battle it, okay? So the worst thing to do when we are depressed is uh, to think that we will do something by which the depression will vanish. That may not happen necessarily because that's a part of our karma. Frankly, honestly speaking, if you are destined to be depressed for a particular Mahadasha or Antardasha, that is not in your control. No matter what you do, whatever you do, it will still be there. But there's one thing which you can do. You can make certain changes in your life by which using your free will, 
that depression will not be able to overpower you in your normal life which means you will you will have the depression inside you will feel very bad you may feel terrible you may also get suicidal thoughts okay if that is there in your karma but you can make changes by which even if that is there you are functioning like a normal human being your career your relationships your health that is not affected okay that is something which is in your control so forget about fighting depression fighting depression means uh, you may not be able to kick out depression that's not possible because that that that's a part of your karma if you say that then it means you are saying i will fight my destiny do not fight destiny you cannot fight destiny it's fatalistic i know but that's a part of your karma all right but take steps by which depression doesn't become depression could be a part of you but it doesn't have to become you no <laughs> all right so it's like saying if you are depressed then people around you might understand oh he or she is a bit depressed but the person is functioning normally right so that is something which is definitely in our control all right i have to again pause. all right sorry for the delays now what is the first indication that there could be some scenario like depression the first indication is a prominent eighth house what is the meaning of a prominent eighth house you may think oh three planets in eighth house four planets in eighth house five planets in eighth house but i don't have any planet in eighth house why am i still depressed right see the eighth house is the core house of depression all the depression of the world is in the eighth house because uh, the eighth house is opposite of the second house which is the house of value actually so if the eighth house is prominent then a person may feel that it's not worth living in this world because i do not have anything that i value now what is the meaning of a prominent eighth house prominent eighth house doesn't mean that you have seven planets in the eighth house or you have five planets okay prominent uh, eighth house means most of your planets all the nine planets or most of them most means at least five or six of them are connected with the eighth house which means they are uh, somehow uh, linked through nakshatra and lordship so if the eighth lord is in the lagna or the eighth lord is with the lagna lord or if suppose eighth lord is participating participating in a conjunction with two three other planets and um, as i said uh, suppose your eighth lord is mars so if you have too many planets in dhanishta nakshatra or the other nakshatras of mars whichever house it can be doesn't doesn't matter okay mrikshira okay so in that case this can happen okay disclaimer if mars is your eighth lord only then okay because now i know you many of you are new to astrology and your moon may be in mrikshira and you will just freak out nothing knowingly that oh i'm in depression <laughs> all right so that that is one indication uh, this is most important because i've always seen the eighth house always plays role most of the planets linked with the eighth house or the nakshatra lord in, in fact the nakshatra lord is even more powerful okay uh, in giving depression <laughs> so as i said if mars is the eighth lord the nakshatra is ruled by mars if any planets are sitting there in those nakshatras i am saying it for the second time because this is bit of advanced astrology okay the other indication is if uh, your second house is very 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 badly afflicted or the second lord is in a very bad shape in that case this can happen why because the second house is the house of value okay second house tells you what you value in life If the second house is not very good uh, then you may feel that there's nothing valuable in life why why should i live in this world because see when you take birth it's the lagna then you have the second house what's the second house second house is that which you value family members accumulated wealth assets money these food these things are under the second house no wonder why if a person is in depression the person spends money recklessly and eats the wrong things which he or she should not eat or drink now you understand why that happens mm -hmm. 
So that is a very clear uh, indication. Uh, if the eighth house is there as the first criteria, as I said, then, then you check the second criteria. Now, all these can be happening interchangeably, which means it doesn't mean that you must have some bad effects of second house, some bad effects of eighth house. You may have a great second house and you may have a very difficult eighth house okay, from the factors as I mentioned. So it doesn't have to be that you have to fall in either of the two categories. You can have some good things of category one and category two also okay, or some bad things from either category. Then uh, what is the next indication? The, the next indication is a difficult moon which is pretty obvious so when moon is difficult what uh, moon is difficult means if moon is very heavily afflicted by natural malefics and it is uh, somehow linked to the eighth house then i have seen seen it becomes very difficult actually and also if uh, in another case the person may not be into depression but may be vulnerable to getting into depression okay sometimes what kind of a scenario that is if moon is not linked with Jupiter or the lords of the trines, even then this can happen. Then what is the situation? Imagine other things are good and if this is there, then it can happen that uh, the person is not depressed but can go into depression very easily even if there are some other small problems in life. Okay? So this, this if you have is a good thing to have actually. Jupiter connected with moon or the fifth or the ninth lot. Even though the fifth and the ninth lords may be malefics, okay? even then it is good in one way, it helps the moon actually. But uh, if this is not there and then if your moon is in a bad shape, okay? especially connected to the eighth or with Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, then it can happen that you are more prone to depression. What is another indication? This is not indication for depression, but lack of motivation in life. That's a weak Lagna Lord basically. And if the Lagna Lord is primarily linked with the Dusthanas, then this can happen. Which means if the Lagna Lord is in the nakshatra of the planet, whose Lord is also lording either the 6th, 8th, 12th or is sitting in the 6th, 8th or the 12th. Okay. So suppose your Lagna Lord is in Dhanishta nakshatra, whichever house, doesn't matter. But Mars as the Lord of Dhanishta is sitting in 6th, 8th or 12th then this can happen primarily okay now another thing i have seen is this is very strange uh, when it comes to depression this doesn't make you depressed this makes you a bit sad actually sad not in a depressing way but i'll tell you how it's the fourth house <laughs> because fourth house is the house of uh, shanti okay it's the house of peace actually so therefore if a person has a difficult fourth house the person has difficulty staying peaceful so therefore the fluctuations are too high actually okay the person is sometimes very happy sometimes very sad happy sad happy sad like this like this so because of this what can happen is you you may feel that uh, life's not steady and that can sometimes make you depressed okay that can also happen and uh, if the fourth lord is in a bad shape, if the fourth lord is linked with the lord of the Dustanas, then also it can happen. Or it is sitting in the uh, nakshatras, whose lord is also lording the sixth, eighth, or twelfth, or is himself sitting in sixth, eighth, twelfth. So, for example, again, if your fourth lord is in the Nishta nakshatra and Mars is in sixth, eighth, or twelfth, then also this can happen. All right. Um, and another thing I have seen is uh, you can connect them to the houses. So if the third house is linked, the person will get into you know, social media addictions and all this. Um, if Saturn is linked, then the person can have too much greed. If Mercury is linked, there could be too much envy or jealousy. Okay, Because of this, the person might feel very bad. Okay? And now if uh, Rahu and Ketu are linked, then the person might get suicidal thoughts. Okay? Uh, very careful here not to judge blindly so these are the factors which can contribute to depression okay there are many other factors i would love to know from you what are the other factors that you think uh, and um, now the thing is on the other side which are the factors which can show that even if you have these factors you uh, you can at least come out of depression okay not that you nullify depression but as i said in the beginning you can take steps in a way that you uh, depression doesn't affect you and your normal life actually okay there are certain placements so for example if 
the trinal lords are very strong and they are supported by the natural benefits, then this can really uh, do wonders actually. And if the, uh, if, if especially the ascendant lord is well placed in Kendra or Trikon, then what happens even if the depression is there in your bhav chart, disclaimer, okay, not in your lagna chart. So in your bhav chart, if your lagna lord is either in fourth or first, fourth, seventh, tenth, or fifth, or ninth, or even in the eleventh, I have seen, uh, then this can really help you to come uh, out of depression, to battle depression, all right. And uh, gradually in Dashas, if these houses, the difficult placements, if they become more activated, so then the depression will increase as per time. And if the good houses are activated, then your depression will reduce. Okay? You will come out of it and you may nullify it completely. Okay? Depends on the Dashas, but sometimes the Dasha can indicate your depression is also increased or your fighting ability is also increasing. So it becomes like a battle. Okay? So... <clears throat> You know, so therefore, you have to analyze the overall horoscope and most importantly, the dashas and the mahadasha and the link of the antar dasha with the mahadasha lord. That is very important. Okay? So therefore, this is how you judge uh, depression. And there are many indicators in my research I have seen. Like a fourth house I have seen primarily actually. I, I know it's very surprising, but that's my opinion that if fourth house is not good, uh, I've seen it equally damaging like the second and the eighth. Okay, so depression is primarily linked with these three houses, the second, fourth and the eighth. Second house is, uh, of course, eighth house is the poor house of depression, sadness and fourth house is a lack of mental peace and clarity and the second house is a lack of uh, self-worth or lack of that feel-good factor, you know, in life and weak triumphs, of course. You know, but the the trines, if they are strong, they can help you to come out of depression, okay? But they cannot prevent depression. So if, if the second, fourth and eighth are having problems, then even if the trines are strong, you will have depression. But the thing is, good thing is you will try to come out of them, okay? And if in the upcoming dashas, these houses do not come, then you are out of depression. Depression is not there anymore, all right? So that is all um, from my side and as i said i would love to know from you in the comments what is your opinion about uh, depression and how how were you depressed and how did you come out of depression all right so therefore i would love to know from you okay thank you very much for your patience if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation from me please go to my website down below right what is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him